Hello, I am Vishal Parikh. Today we will explore shaping of data. So in particular, today we are going to study is how we can work with HTML pages and how we can parse a particular HTML document. So let us first move towards HTML. So what is a HTML? So HTML, it stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Now what is a markup language? So whenever you want to create a particular web pages. Now what are the web pages? Web pages you can consist of whenever you are opening a particular website. So each single page which you see, it is known as a web page. Now HTML is a standard markup language for designing of your web pages. Now what does the HTML describes? So it describes describes you the entire structure of your web page so whenever you want to work with html you have to use this predefined text now what does it consist it consists of sequence of elements now this html elements what does they do that tell the browser how to display a particular content on your browser so now let us move and see how a particular html document looks like so here you can see is a particular HTML document. So the first thing you can see over here is inside an angular bracket, it is written doc type HTML. This tag is optional. Now next tag comes here is HTML. So what HTML tag is first, let us understand what is the structure and then we will understand what is the importance of that particular tag. So the root tag is HTML. Inside this, we have used a tag which is known as a head. Then inside a head tag, we have used a tag which is known as title. Now this title which you are giving will be displayed on the title of your browser. Then we have used is a body tag. Inside the body tag, we have used two different tags that is h1 tag and p tag. Now let us understand what a particular tag is used for. So the first tag you can see over here is doc type html so what does this indicate this indicates or it defines this that this particular document is of html5 documents now this html5 is the latest version of your html the next tag you can see over here is html tag so whenever you want to write any html document this is the root tag and it is a mandatory tag which you need to write the next tag you can see over here is head tag. Now, what does this head tag contains? It contains the meta information. Meta means it contains data about data information of your particular HTML page. Next, you can see is title tag. Now, what is this title? So whenever you want to specify title for your HTML page at that particular time, we have to use title tag next tag you can see here is a body tag now whenever or whatever tag you want to write it should be mandatorily present inside your body tag why because whenever your web pages will be rendered it will consider the body tag and inside the documents body it is working as a container and all the content which you see on your browser it is already written inside your body tag the next tag that we have used was h1 tag so what does it indicate it indicates we are using a header tag and the h1 stands for heading one so this particular tag is having the highest size of your font next tag we have used here is p so what does the p indicate so p indicates it is a paragraph next we will see how we can parse a particular html document so here you can see is a library which is provided by a python which we need to install whenever we need to parse a particular html document so the library name is beautiful so so whenever you want to parse a particular html document we will be going to use this library which is beautiful so now how does this particular library work so if you have studied and if you recall your tree data structure so beautiful soap again works in that similar fashion that means it works on your tree based data let me give you an example how it works for example you are having a html page and you want to convert your utf format into a unicode character directly or automatically so at that particular time we have to use the library which is beautiful soap so let us parse a particular html file so here you can see is your particular html file so what it is containing so it is a list operating system here i have taken is list item 
and inside this there are different list items so now let us parse this particular html file so how can we do this so first we need to import a beautiful soap library so what how we can do that so from ps4 import beautiful soap now what we have to do we have to read is our html file so how we can read a particular html file so for that we have to use open function so open function inside this we have to pass our file name that is index.html and the mode in which we want to open that is read so what does it returns it returns you file object now whenever we want to read the content if you recall when we have studied file systems at that time we were having a method which is name as read so fobj.read so what it will do it will return all the content of your file which is named as index.html now whenever we want to parse a particular html file so for that we have to use a function which is known as beautiful so inside this we have to pass two different parameters the first is your content that you have read from your particular file and the second we have to pass is lxml now what we want to do so we have used different tags inside this particular html file that tags we want to print so how can we do this so i have used here if you see here i have used here is h2 tag so if i want to print that particular tags so how can i do this so for that i need to have a soap object so soap object dot tag name so i want to print h2 tag i want to print head tag and i want to print list items so these are the particular list items that are available so let us run this so here you can see it has shown you h2 tag so here this is your h2 tag so this is operating system the text which is written it is of type h2 that is header 2 next you can see over here is head tag so now you can see here this is your head tag and inside the head tag we have pass is a title so in title we have passed this header so as we if you recall whenever we were using head tag it is showing you the meta information about that particular file now i have taken is li so li is list item so first item it will show you is solaris so it is printing here solaris why it has printed only one because i have passed here one time if you write second time for example print soap dot li then it will take next item which is present so you can see here again it has taken as solaris now if we want to print the tag name as well as the content that is associated with that particular text so what is the syntax so usually we say this as a name or text attribute is available so first of all what I have done is I have taken a function which is named as format inside this I have taken the tag that is head2 that is operating system then I have taken is h2.name whenever you want to print the name of that particular tag and the text that is associated with that particular text so there are two different attributes the first is name and the second attribute available is text so what it will print it will print the text that is associated with that particular tag so let us run so here you can see the h2 tag and the name associated with that particular h2 tag is operating system and the particular text which is available is operating system so what the name attribute has printed it has printed the tag name that is h2 and the text that is associated with h2 tag is operating systems now whenever we want to traverse a particular html documents and if i want to print all the html text so how can i do this so for that we have to use a method which is known as recursive child generator but as i want to print all the name so what we have to do we have to take a loop inside the loop this method that is recursive child generator method is present inside a beautiful soap method so we are having the object which is named as soap soap dot recursive child generator so what it will do it will take one by one child from your html document it will store in this child variable now the what condition i have given if the name is associated with that particular child then i want to print that particular name of that child tag 
if the name is not associated it will ignore that particular tag so let us run so here you can see it has printed all the tags that are present inside your particular document so as we know that first tag is head then inside html we have had title meta body h2 then inside this ul that is unordered list and inside this we have taken different list items now another method we are having that is descendant method so whenever we want to get all the children's whenever we want to get all the children's of all the levels of a particular tag at that particular time we have to use descendant method now all the child whenever we want so first thing if you recall what we have seen that body tag it consists of all the tags which are present inside your document so first i need to access the body tag so how can i access it so for that again i have to use soap object dot body why because whenever we want to print all the child levels of all the tags first we need to have a body tag so body tag i have stored it inside a variable which is named as root now what i am doing i am accessing each and every children so how so for that i need to have a root element so root element we have stored inside the variable which is named as root and i have applied here is this sentence now what it will do if the name is not present it will ignore but if the name is present then it will store it in the variable that is e dot name and it will store all the elements which are present inside this particular variable that is root underscore childs so let us print this so here you can see first we have used is h2 then we have used is if is ul that is unordered list and then we have used is different types of list item so these are your list item that is solaris free bsd debian net bsd windows this all are list items now what i want to do if i want to find a particular element if i want to find a particular element that for example ul tag ul tag it is also known as an element so if i want to check whether ul element is present inside my file or not so for that we again have a method which is known as find method so what it will do it will check whether we are having a ul tag or not so first what we have done first we have open a particular html file using open function and it will return us file objects so now what we want to do we have opened this particular file and we want to read the content of this particular file so for that we have a read function so read function will read all the content from your file and it will store in this variable which is named as contents now what i want to do first i should have a beautiful soap object so how can we get this so again first is your content and second we have to pass is lxml so this beautiful soap method again will return you is your soap objects now whenever you want to find a particular element so for that we have to use a method which is known as find so first attribute it will take is the element which you want to find so for example i want to find is ul element now whenever a particular element is present if i want to search by its id so mandatorily i have to specify the second attribute as id now this id value is what so this id already i have assigned it to a particular html file so what this will do so it will find all the ul text in which we are having a id that is my list so let us run this so here you can see what i have done i was having a ul tag inside this i have assigned the id that is my list and inside this it was storing this particular list items so it has printed and find all the elements which are having id that is my list under the element ul now similarly what we have find here is a particular fixed element that is ul now if i want to find all the tags so for that we again have a particular method that is find underscore all so for example i want to find all this list elements that is li element i want to find so how can i do this again this li can be more than one so if there is more than one again we have to use a loop so what i have done i have taken a soap object 
dot i have used a method that is find underscore all and inside this i have passed the element or tag name that is li so once it will find it it will store in a particular variable that is tag now what i want to do i want to print what the name is associated with this particular tag and the text that is present inside this particular tag so let us print this so here you can see how many list items are there that is 1 2 3 4 5 so it has printed 1 2 3 4 5 all the list elements so first it is showing you that is tag dot name so what is the name that is li and what is the text associated with it is solaris so here are all the names and all the values that are associated with the text next is if we want to add a new element to our file so how can we do this so for that again we have a method which is the s append so what it will do it will add a new tag to your html document so again the criteria remains the same first we have to open our file then we have to read our file then we have to create a soap object now whenever you want to create a or append a new tag for that we have to use a method that is first we need to add a tag so how can we add a tag so for that we have a method that is new underscore tag and i want to add a new list element tag so i have passed inside the parameter the tag that i want to add and i have stored it in a variable which is named as new tag now this li is a tag and now if i want to add a string or if i want to add a text to this variable so there is an attribute which is named as string how can we access this string so first you should have that tag variable so that is new tag dot string and then you have to specify your value now what you want to do you want to append this so again you have taken a li so li tag is a child element of ul tag so now we should have a ul tag so i have created a ul tag how we can create it similarly first we need to have is a soap object dot ul so what it will do it will create a new ul tag so ul tag and i have stored it in a variable that is ul tag now as we know this li tag is a sub tag of this ul tag so we need to append this li tag inside this ul tag so how can we do this so we have to take this ul tag dot append method dot append method and inside this we have to pass our sub element that is li and then i have used this prettyfy method so what does this method do it will show you all the output in a particular format so let us run so now you can see here it is showing you all the list so what we have done we have added a new list item to our original file which is named as index.html now if you want to insert a particular element it is also possible so what is the difference between this insert and append as we know append will add at the end of your document and insert can add at any particular index position so the code remains the same only change will come here is instead of append i have used here is insert method and the insert method we have to first specify the index position and then we have to specify your tag name so let us run this so now if you see here it has added this to this second position now whenever you are working with html and you are using insert method so index will start from 1 usually in programming the index starts from 0 but whenever you are working with html the index starts from 1 so here you can see at the second index it has added this particular list element that is 1 ps now if you want to replace a particular element inside your html document so how can we do this so the first thing is we have to open our particular file then we have to read that particular file then we need to create a beautiful soap object so how we can create it so again i have used here is beautiful soap method inside this i have passed the content and the second parameter is lxml now what you want to replace so the first thing you have to specify 
So for example, I want to replace this text which is named as windows. I want to replace this particular text with the value that is open PSD. So first thing you have to do is you have to check whether this particular text is present or not. So how can we do that? So again this soap object is having a method which is named as find. So inside this find method we have an attribute that is named as text. So inside the text you have to specify the value that you want to search. Why we have to do this? Because first we need to check whether this particular text is present in our document or not. If it is present then only we can replace it. So to replace it we have to use a function that is named as replace underscore with that means what it will do it will replace your text windows with the value that is open bsd so how i have done this so again i have used this tag object dot i have used a method which is named as replace underscore with and inside this i have specified the value with which this windows will be replaced and again i have specified the prettify method so what it will do it will show you in a particular format so now you can see here so if you see here particularly the last element was storing the text as windows now after replacing you can see here is the last text it was showing you is open bsd so this is all about your parsing of your html documents thank you